in downtown Davenport aren't the only ones dealing with flooding. KWQC Sarah Jones was in the West End earlier today seeing how businesses are doing there. Sarah, what'd you find? David, so I was walking up, I saw cement blocks, but I was not expecting the water to be up to here on me, and I'm about 5'8". I've never seen it like that, but it's really amazing to see how businesses, community members, and residents and volunteers have come together to help protect their community. Chest-high water stands and flows from a stretch of 61 where you previously weren't able to even see the river, and it came in fast. This is what it looked like a few days ago. Dave says he's had this property since the 60s and has seen both major floods hit this part of West Davenport. This is the worst one, <laughs> definitely the worst. But as a community, they were better prepared this time around. Yeah, about $7,000 of blocks. The neighbors all went together and bought them, and um, they, that, that really helped. And while the blocks are holding back most of the water, there's still room for concern. You know, you can't seal it up completely. We're going to have seepage, and they've got pumps running 24 hours a day. This is a time lapse of most of the wall, which took nearly a week to build. The city of Davenport has provided the sand in the bags necessary for the sandbags on this wall. But as you can see, volunteers, community members, and business owners here all came together to actually build this wall. And they also paid for the cement blocks needed for it. They say they have to check this wall continuously to make sure it's not leaking. And on average, they spend three to $500 a day on gasoline just to make sure the pumps are still running. They say years of practice have helped them figure out how to construct this barrier, which includes a berm made of clay against a fence. And that about 7 to 12 people have been steadily committed to keeping the wall, and approximately 25 to 50 volunteers at a given time have been helping to fill sandbags. We've been reinforcing it the last couple days. Uh, yesterday we had a little scare. We almost had a breach in our dike, and uh, we reinforced it with some of DNR's uh, big blocks here. And without this wall, business owners say all of this would have been underwater. But here, they don't refer to this as a community effort. Everybody gets real close. They're all, we're all family. Now that three to 500 figure that you heard that they spend on gasoline every day is because the city does cover diesel, but it doesn't cover gasoline, which is what some of those pumps use, David. All right, thanks, Sarah. Businesses say they are keeping a watch on this, of course, and are hoping the river will go down soon.